Welcome to day 82 of my 100 days of Webflow journey. Today we're gonna have a look at how to automate from Webflow to Airtable using Make as the automation tool. Now we did this a few days ago where we used Zapier as the automation tool and we automated from Webflow to Google Sheets. Most of the steps are actually gonna look similar, but it's just with a different UI and a different application. So without further ado, let's see this in action. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Wi-Fi journey. Let's go. All right, so today we're gonna automate the form submissions of this form using make.com, uh, previously called Integromat, and we're gonna populate this form here, right here, called Webflow form contact that has a name, email, and message field. So let's do that. First things first, we will go to make.com. We will log in to our account and uh, we will create a new scenario. The new scenario will be called um, contact form submission and uh, in contact form submission yeah and then we will we'll call webflow we will click on the plus sign we'll call webflow we will call a watch event and uh, this event we'll just add a new event we'll call this contact form new and uh, this will be connected to a website so this will be workflow low flow site save and we will connect this to our site which will be level flow 2023 now this is this project we will authorize this and then we will um, look for our site so it's right here the trigger type will be form submission and we will save this now it is there so we will run this module just to see if this is working so this is now pulling data from the webhook so we can fill in this data, so test1, you're at test.test, .test. this is the test message. So if we submit this, I need to work on that uh, thank you message. We can see that here, it's pulling the data, we can see the data right here, so this is the test message, so this is working fine. Now we need to add another module, which will be Airtable. And um, and this will create a record in Airtable. Now we need to auth authenticate our user account. So this will be Airtable Webhook Webflow. Now the namings, I'm not so good with naming things. So <laughs> this is always a struggle. So Webflow form contact is the workspace I want to be connected to. So we'll grant this access. And uh, now we are connecting. Okay, we're connected. We'll go to the base, we'll find Webflow form contact, which is this form right here, this um, field database right here. The table will be table one, you can see it's table one. So we'll choose that. Now we'll connect the fields. So the data will be data name data email data message so let's connect that so now we have our automation and um, let's save this so this is saved now let's test it out let's go to form submission let's submit uh, error table test and then we will see if this works out. This is the is this automation. 
Mission working. And let's go to Earth table. Let's refresh. Oh, I've, I forgot to turn on the automation. So you need to turn it on. So we will turn it on. And if we process all data, it will already copy some data here. So you see that I just did this test. So you can see the data is just copied here. So now I can continue and fill in more fields. Now this is all data. We'll just remove them there empty table so now if we do this again test number two and it will be air table at test air air dot com and then we will write this is the message test Let's submit again let's see here and this is working fine Thank you for watching the video. I hope I taught you something today. Make sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Wafla journey. See you tomorrow.